Junior. Look at the way he's eating like a bushman. <laughs> oh my. He's such a glutton. Um, have you done your assignment? Yes, Mom. That's good because book work first before cartoons. cartoons. Good boy. So for that, um, where do you want me to take you to next weekend? Um, Kribi. Wow. Who taught you about Kribi? My teacher. Wow, that's nice. Um, Kribi, Kribi, Kribi. Cool. <sighs> Mom, you are the best mother in the whole world that I cannot imagine. And when I grow up and start working, I'll buy you a car. Is that so? Yes, Mom. Thank you so much, Junior. And also build you a very big house and take care of you because I love you so much. Hmm. Thank you so much, Junior. I'm even short of words. Do you know something? All I'm going to do is to pray that God should give both of us long life. So I'm going to see all these sweet promises of yours come true. Come here. You're such a darling. Love you, my boy. I love you too. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey. So happy to see you. Thank you. <clears throat> The last time I saw your son, he was already a grown-up. Yeah, he is. He is. Oh, you're so lucky. I've been waiting for such opportunity for God to bless me the way he did for you, but it has never come. Don't bother. God's time is the best. You know, God has been very faithful to me. That boy means the whole world to me. He even promised to get a car for me and build a house for me when he grows old. <laughs> buy you a car? Don't mind him. Oh, see who wants to buy you a car. We bless God for everything. Children will never stop from raising <laughs> us, you know. Oh. Uh, I wish to invite you for our Bible studies on Friday. Hmm, Friday, Friday. Yeah, yeah, I'll be free on Friday. Yeah. What um, time? 5 p.m. Just opposite Peace Hotel. Okay, I'll be there. I'm feeling me. I'll be so, so expecting you. Okay. okay. Um, Jane, please get something for... You have a name stick here. Jane, get something for Auntie Jane. <laughs> something, what do you want? Just water. What Bring her cold water? water. Thank you. <laughs> Honey, you know, I was so overwhelmed by the sermon on Sunday. I mean, I saw the presence of the supernatural, the power of God. If you continue like this, the whole church will be full packed in less than no time. Yeah, I took note. I took note. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess in, in no space of time, we'll be having about 200 members in the church. Wow. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yes, who is at the door? So, what do you want us to do now? I need a sum of 10 million francs. I need to leave this town. Go somewhere else and start up my life. Because as it is now, I'm not ready to be on the losing side. This is actual wickedness. You are also a woman like me. Do you know what it means to put us in this disgraceful situation? Do you? That is none of my business. Think about it. If you cannot come up with that sum, don't blame me for my actions. Make sure you think about it. Don't you think we need to involve the police in this? No, there's no gotten to die. This is about someone's flesh and blood. But we have labored for so long. Yes, I know. But God rewards all our labors. 
I hope so. What is wrong with this uh, uh, TV? I called the technician yesterday. What is wrong with these technicians even? You don't have to spare them. Nadesh. Ten million is not small money. Who do they think they are, by the way? I feel guilty about this whole stuff. That guy is a pastor. I mean, a real pastor. Hmm. But doing this to him, he has done a great job by taking care of that child. What are you talking about? I'm not sure I would have been able to do that. Do you know what five million can do for you? Especially now that the country is not going well. Where is five million from? Five million, I don't understand. We are talking about ten million, meaning five million for you and five million for me. That will be greed. Ha! Greed? Hm. You better think. Think I've said money. I waited for your call to no avail. That is because we do not have the kind of money you're asking for. Then I'll take the boy with me. Okay. I have one million francs to give you on one condition that you're going to go away and never disturb us again. Pastor, it's 10 million or nothing. This is greed. Greed! Call it whatever you like. Uh, Metron, I was thinking of adopting a child. What for? Because I know you have a chair. Yeah, it's a long story. Okay. I just want to know the procedures. Okay, first of all, you need to fill the required forms. Okay. Then you we'll take it to the police station so that after that, nobody can come for the child because by then it will be legal. Okay, I think that is where I went wrong. So what is the problem? <sighs> It's a very long story, but let me try to cut it short. I have a child in my house that is actually not my child. The mother is on my neck. She wants to get the child back. What? So what happened? Still a long story, yet I'll still cut it short. I picked that child in my farmland many years ago. So I had to take the child to my house since my husband and I are childless. But I did not report the situation to the police. That is a criminal offense, you know. If this lady takes you up to the police that you stole her child, you can go behind bars for many years, you know. Hmm. So what do I do now? I think the first thing to do is to bring the child to the orphanage. Okay. Yes. And if anybody asks you, tell them the child is here. Thank you so much. It's okay. I don't know how to start appreciating you. Okay. I'll have to take my leave now. Oh, thank you for coming around. Sister. You're welcome. Thank you. I'll pay with special visit. Really? Yeah, I'll do. As usual, I trust you. I know. So Nadesh, tell me, are you willing to take the boy now? No, madam. I don't have anything doing now. If I should take the boy, 
I will not be able to give him a good life. Okay then. Okay then. We'll see about it. Nadesh, why didn't you collect the one million from them? I thought if I collected the money, you say I've taken ten million and shown you just one. So I let it go. I was struggling to get to you though, but they took the child to the orphanage. Just like that. These people think they are smart. My problem now is the safety of that child. Will he be well taken care of at the orphanage, like in Auntie Faith's place? You know, Auntie Jane, you're the one putting me through all this. I never knew about any child until you told me. I was a free and happy woman without any burden of a child until you came. Oh. <sighs> Don't worry, my dear. They'll take good care of him there. Orphanage is a place where you can keep your child and go back, collect him whenever you're financially stable. And more to that, an orphanage is not only meant for orphans, but also for children facing difficulties in life. So don't worry about that, okay? Well, if that is the case, that child was facing difficulties. I'm going to Antifate's place now. I'm ready to sign any legal document whatsoever. They have been the parents of the child. They'll, they'll continue taking care of the child. Okay, if that's your decision, then you can go ahead and do what I've made my decision. I called you all here today because of um, what Natasha told me. But I want you people to listen from her. Nadesh, put yourself together and talk to them. I'm very I'm very sorry for what I put you people through. This was not all about me. I'm a struggling girl who made a very very big mistake by dumping my baby. I didn't want to soil my hands with blood. <sighs> Years have passed and I totally forgot about the child until your friend Auntie Jane told me about the boy. I've been working with Auntie Jane as a prostitute. Sleep with men, get paid, and give her some commissions. When I got pregnant, I didn't want to saw in my hands with blood and take away the child. So Auntie Jane advised me to dump the baby in the farm. I didn't know she made her findings already about the owners. I did as I was told. After these years, when I met her, She, she told me to collect some money from you people so we could share equally. I don't, I don't want the child. I can't take care of him. I will still offer you the one million I promise to give you. You can keep the child and take care of the child. We took him as our own child until you surfaced. No, 
No. I can't take care of the child. I can't. Even the money. I'll squander it in a couple of weeks. I live a very, very wayward life. I just want to thank God for this opportunity and the gift that he has given to me. I am actually pregnant for my own child. But I cannot live without Junior. I am also ready to sign any local documents to have him as my own child. Junior, it's okay. Okay. I'm happy. And owing to the fact that this child has been in this orphanage, it's but normal that you sign the necessary documents to fully adopt the child. So, Nadesh, are we ready to go? I'm ready. It's okay. Hmm? They are his parents. I'm ready to sign every, any any document. So so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Jimmy, are you ready to go home? Okay. okay. Very soon you're going to go. Okay. We'll just go through this and you okay. Yeah. You just go through it and make sure you study. 